What is up guys, welcome back to the second play review of the day. If you guys missed my first one or third Inform Hazard, make sure you check that out on my channel. We're going to be looking at Inform Ramos and oh my goodness, this guy is only a 78 overall player, but he feels OP in every single way. I mean, this guy's face card stats or even his in-game stats are a complete and utter lie. Anyway, before I begin, if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins, check out Batane.com. The link will be in the description. Use the code ITANI to get 5% off. He has 8. 86 pace, 77 dribbling, yeah right, this guy has really good dribbling in my opinion, he has a 74 shot on his card, it feels way better than that, and he has 86 heading, can you believe that, 86 heading, and he is 6 foot 1, really awesome stats, face card stats is awesome, but when you're playing with him, this guy feels really really good, very OP, and I'm actually going to keep this in form, because he just feels so good, I really enjoyed using him, very good pace to begin with, this guy is extremely Extremely fast for over the top through balls if you love to play that way well I know loads of you like to do that so um, he's gonna be you know just ideal for those sort of situations very good dribble at the same time you'll see me very easily uh, just dribbling past defenders but what is so amazing about him sometimes he will just score goals out of nothing he will just set himself up and just score goals he will force himself into the penalty area if he can't dribble past defenders you will see a goal where David Luiz is marking him and an another two center backs are marking him or maybe I don't even know but a lot of defenders are just surrounding him but he still manages a way to sneak past all of them and score a goal and you will see a couple of nice finesse shots from him and one long shot that hits the crossbar very very unlucky but one of the finesse shots was against Neuer one of the best keepers if not the best keeper in this game so Ramos, very overpowered player, decent strength and aggression, so he won't be easily bullied off the ball or anything like that. So if you want to, you know, if you're coming up against him, make sure you have some strong center backs. And once this guy's at his full sprint speed, it is nearly impossible to stop him because he's so damn fast. He's very strong. And if he's going to be a target man, he suits that, you know, position because he is six foot one with 86 heading. So um, he's also amazing at finishing in the penalty area. I had no problems finishing with him. He's very, very good at that. He has, like I said, very good heading and height, really good finesse shots from outside the penalty area, powerful shots and long shots, and even though if you're looking at his shooting um, on his face card stats, it's only 74, in-game it feels way better than that, and also his long shot stats in-game don't look that great, but when you're shooting shots with him, it's awesome. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. Like, make sure you let me know who you want me to review next. This guy right here, very overpowered. Definitely recommend him. He doesn't even go for much. I think he goes for like 50k on the PlayStation. So, you could definitely try him out. He's not one of the most expensive players, but very, very OP. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you let me know in the comment section below who you want me to review next from this Team of the Week because there's a shit ton of new players and I really want to get through all of them. So, hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a very nice day.